Hey everyone, it's Jacob Fry here, and I am finally back from a long silence. Um, that's because I have moved out. I am in new digs and my new room. And I'd show you my dog, well, technically my sister's dog, um, but he has been naughty and he was eating my carpet. And so he is in his naughty place for now, which is the bathroom. So if you ever hear him scratching or um, howling in the background, don't worry about it. He'll be fine. Um, so that's why I've been gone so long, because I moved out, got two jobs. Um, well, I already had one job, so I got another job on top of that to pay rent and all that during my business and working hard. So that's where I've been for about a year now, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but today, I have actually found some spare time, thank goodness. Um, time is very valuable lately, and um, it's been very rare. The only reason I have time today is because my computer has been stuck rendering and um, I've had it's been rendering for about two weeks up to 19 minutes per frame and it's got 300 frames to work through and you can do the math on that and that's just you know that's at 24 frames per second that's not a lot of video and I'm in this in-depth year-long project so I won't be able to make a lot of videos lately I'm sorry for that but I did have some advice I wanted to give today and some important things um, that I feel like we could all learn and I might have covered this topic before, I'm not entirely sure, but it's always good to reiterate. So today I want to, um, my goal is to help improve your lives a little by tweaking how you use um, social media and online. How we spend our viewing bucks, per se. Every time you look at something online, you give them money for looking at it. Or um, they pay to have you see it so you can go buy something. That's basically how online works. You're either giving money or you're looking at paid products or paid placements. And um, it's gotten so big nowadays, there's like warnings now saying, hey, there's a paid um, uh, there's a paid commercial in this video or whatever. And um, I just want to say that um, as I've gotten older and as I've noticed a lot of things, I start dealing with uh, considerably less bullcrap and less immaturities because we all don't have time for that. And I don't want to waste my time watching people be immature or dealing with immature people or have my relationships with immature people. And um, I don't mean this to sound horrible and I don't mean this to um, not teach people, uh, but it's just some things are so useless and such a waste of time, it's not worth dealing with and it's better to cut that out of your life. Um, at your discretion, don't do anything stupid naturally, but cut people out of your life that are wasting a lot of time, causing a lot of drama, and being very immature about things, and that's a very hard lens to look through, um, and especially without coming off sounding like a complete jerk, which I might be right now, but um, that's, it's better, there, a lot of people worry about cutting people out of their life, because one of the biggest temptations is they want to look after them, but they, and especially when the people are immature enough to pressure them and depend on them so much that they put themselves in a, posi a position where the person you're worried about cutting out is actually more important than you. And that's how it happens. They hurt you um, by being dependent or being immature in some sort of way. Um, I mean, sorry, by being dependent and being immature, uh, and whether it's a wasting your time or hurting you or using you, and then when you try and cut them out, they all say, well, I can't live without you, and all sorts of other stuff, and they naturally have bad reactions to that, and then it somehow, it's a subliminal message saying that you are responsible for their well-being, which you are very much not. Uh, they are responsible for their own well-being. So that's how to cut someone out of your life. Not what I was going to talk about today, but you're not responsible for anyone's well-being except yourselves and maybe if you're a parent, your kids, until they're 18 at least, about their well-being and stuff like that. Otherwise, friends and uh, acquaintances, uh, bullies, people, anyone, not your concern. I don't care how bad they are. We help people to help people. Yes, it's good to help people. But when that help starts hurting you, you're more important than they are. Always look out for number one. You are more important. And don't let people 
depend on you 24-7. It's okay to lend a shoulder to cry on. Do that as much as you can, possibly. Please help people. But the goal is to get them independent, not dependent. And I wasn't even going to talk about this today. This is completely off. But let's get back on um, what I wanted to talk about. So that's how you cut people out of your life and how you help people in a nutshell. What I wanted to talk about is how we spend our viewing bucks. And what I mean by viewing bucks is uh, whenever you're online, you view things and see things every day. And um, they're either paid for you to see them. So you're like, oh, look, an ad or a product that I might want to buy. Or you're giving money to someone else for watching their stuff. And so what I mean to say is like take uh, Snapchat for instance. I hate everything that the, um, oh what's the word, the basic, not basic Snapchat, but like the factory Snapchat gives you. Um, and there's no way to turn it off as far as I know. I haven't looked into it yet. But uh, their news feed for instance, when you scroll over to look over at stories and stuff, which Snapchat is amazing, great for talking with friends, great for um, watching videos, following people you love, but, like, their news feed is just complete bullcrap. Just scroll through it one time, like, meaningfully look through it. Like, it's either just um, thirst pics, which if you don't know what those are, don't look it up. It just means trying to get you attracted to people and just showing really sexy bullcrap pictures of famous people and then animating them. And, um... There's thirst picks, and then there is just straight up clickbait. There's drama bait, and it's just all bullcrap, and it's useless to you. It's just a bunch of people that's useless, or it's it's the feminists uh, preaching. And whether you're, I'm not gonna touch feminism, yes or no, whatever. Uh, I personally don't like it. But I'm not gonna touch it. Um, and it's a lot of preaching and a lot of um, propaganda from anything there it's just propaganda propaganda all over and i hate it because it's absolutely useless to me i don't care if chloe or kim kardashian did this i don't care if some popular person did this i don't care if actors broke up i don't give and no one should give because if you don't personally know them it shouldn't matter it shouldn't worry and every time you look at them every time you open that you give them money you're spending your viewing bucks and you're spending your time seeing what they do and i I clicked on a few of those in my day just to see, like, are they really, like, what are they really talking? Or I was tempted by the clickbait, not gonna lie. And it just, it takes, like, 10 to 15 minutes of wasted time to read that. And it drove me nuts. Like, why? Like, why is this important to anyone? Like, oh, look how they dress today. Look how they dress tomorrow. Oh, look how they dress yesterday. Look at a mistake they made. It's just tabloid bullcrap. If you don't know what tabloids are, they're, like, the made-up gossip crap that you hear all the time, and it was like, it, it, it's like clickbait, except back in the old days for newspapers. I, I, I hope you know what those are, but if you don't, that's what they are. It's just gossip newspapers back, basically, and always claiming stuff. You can still find them at grocery stores, um, but they're just so obnoxious, and you keep, when we look at them and see what they're doing every day, all humans, we have this weird, innate thing where we're drawn towards drama. And when we're drawn towards drama, we want to know what's going on, especially if it's with someone we know. We want to find out what's going on, why it's going on, whether we help or hurt. We are just like to draw into information. We really shouldn't, but that's what we like to do. That's natural. And we shouldn't be following our natural tendencies. We shouldn't be listening to drama and gossip anyway, but we do find ourselves there. And it's seeped into the entertainment industry. There are channels upon channels upon channels just talking about uh, how... A reacts with B, and how B reacts with C, and how D thinks about all A, B, and C, and it's just obnoxious. And uh, between actors and everyone that we don't know, we've never personally met, why do we need to hear about their lives? Why do we need to hear what they're dressing like? It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't impact you. It doesn't help you. It just helps them. That's all it does. It just pays them money for you to watch them. The more you watch them, the more you encourage them to just create bullcrap and useless stuff and clickbaity memes and such. And that's a real big problem. That is a huge problem that we as a people need to stop. Um, whether it's useless or not, we need to stop supporting things that we don't support personally. 
um, we need to stop looking at things that we don't support personally because by looking at them, just by looking and seeing them, we are supporting them because that's one more view, which is in some cases one more cent or 10 more cents or a hundred more dollars to them to keep creating useless bull crap that's not helping society. In fact, it's hurting us. And I want to be very specific. This isn't about just kind of cleansing the social media sites of just bullcrap and useless stuff that doesn't help us. But it's the main thing I wanted to focus on today was it's hurting was the individuals. It's hurting us. And uh, I, want, I just want to tell you a story. There's this girl I met a while back, maybe two years now, maybe even three, I can't remember. But I'll call her Jay. And Jay, um, she is an absolutely beautiful, hot, attractive girl. And when I mean hot, I mean really, really hot. Like, like I was like, whoa, that girl's hot. And you know me. Like, I don't look at, I do my best not to look at skin. I care more about personality. I care more about who the girl is inside, what her dreams are, stuff like that. But I call her hot and attractive for a very important reason. Important reason is, she's a 10. And everyone else around her thinks she's a 10. But she thinks she's a one because she's been listening and listening and hearing and looking and seeing all of these beauty standards that uh, social media and social life and especially magazines are giving her and feeding her. And she doesn't believe she's good enough, pretty enough, be beautiful enough. And she doesn't realize that her personality is what counts. Um, and it just, it breaks my heart because the more I get to know her, the more amazing I feel like she is. And... I always be sure to compliment her because she doesn't feel like it. And when a girl doesn't feel like she looks good, that does a lot of damage. And in her case, the damage she was doing was beca she became anorexic. And um, she's doing better now. She's doing a lot better now just to, to calm those beating hearts of you people out there. Um, she's doing great now. But she was really anorexic for a long time and she was underweight. And she's absolutely gorgeous now. And she was very famished then. And it, it breaks my heart because when I looked, when I gained her trust slowly, which was a very hard and very long process, um, I found out that um, she was looking at all these magazines and such. And that's the very first thing I did. I said, you got to stop looking at these things. And um, that leaves a void in someone's life. When it's, if you just, if someone convinces you to stop looking at your social media, that creates a void, and you got to fill that void with something. And if you just go back to your normal social media, the same problems are going to come back. And what I'm saying is things we see every day, she didn't even realize. Her personality, her outlook, her attitude has completely changed since she stopped looking at stuff. She sees herself as much prettier now, and she's doing amazing now because she's not looking at all these stupid pressures. And I don't mean this is just one example of millions of examples. I'm not talking, I don't mean to focus on anorexia or looks or socialism, or not so, I keep on saying socialism, but um, social media on controlling um, how the beauty industry and stuff. I don't want to focus on that. What I mean to say is the point is she's been looking at this stuff for so long that's affected her in ways that she didn't even know it was affecting her. And she's changed and grown much lighter and much better. And I'm so glad for that. So, so glad for that. And the change happened because she stopped looking at these things. And she came up to me one day and said, I have so much more time now, but what do I fill it with? And I feel like I still have a need to connect and stuff. I said, well, yeah, social media is just fine. You can look into all this stuff, but you got to be careful on how you use it. It's a tool. You can build up a wall or you can break down a house. And we got to use it responsibly and carefully because if it's not helping you, if it's not teaching you something, if it's not your friends or your family or getting updates on how people are doing, it's probably hurting you. I'm going to be just straight up honest. It's probably hurting you or it's completely useless and wasting your time. So why should we be perusing through our social media, wasting our time? Yes, it's okay. It is okay to take a load off and just, uh, just breathe and uh, live and just relax and you know, maybe if after a long day of work and you just want to chill out, that's just fine and that's okay to do. You know, feel free to watch entertainment. Make sure it's wholesome. But just be careful of the entertainment you're watching. Um, 
what I want to say is take a good, hard, long look at everything you look at every day, guys and girls alike, for anything, for everything, especially any immaturities you don't need, any um, pressures you don't need, and just cut it out, cut it out. And I would challenge you to replace it with something uplifting. You know, maybe a little um, wisdom quote of the day. And you got to be very careful because there's a lot of bullcrap wisdom quotes out there. But if you sift through, you can find something that gives you something good, helpful, and uplifting every day. Or maybe a good, happy story. There's still good news sites out there. I don't know if there's actually news reporting. So not, I don't have TV. But I'm, I know for a fact there's good news sites out there. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, that will give you good news every day. Like, for instance, um, fun fact, buffalo are no longer um, endangered. We have brought buffalo back. They're uh, roaming in fields and big packs, and they're not endangered anymore. That's good news you didn't hear. And uh, you've got to look for those little nuggets of happiness and stuff. Another really, really, really good way is while you're entertaining yourself, make it useful. I mean, it's good to relax and stuff. You know, always have to be learning, but like, uh, I want to give an example, and it's a little plug towards someone that uh, I really love and I follow, I watch a lot when I can on YouTube. And uh, just search Today I Found Out. And it's this guy who just creates videos on something he found out. And he loves to teach other people he finds out about things and how things are done, how things are made, um, why certain things in history happened. And he's been pretty, as far as I know, he's pretty darn credible. And um, he's teaching a lot of these things every day. And he's putting up these beautiful, quick, easy, fun, still entertaining videos while teaching you something. Whether it's useless or not, it's still teaching you something. You think, oh, that's pretty cool, you know? We need to fill, we need to take out all the stuff that's hurting us on a subconscious level and replace it with stuff like that that's helping us. And just little things. Maybe learn a new word every day. You can do anything online. And it can be so powerful for you. And I want you to use it for the power it has and just stop wasting it for entertainment because it's so much more powerful. All my animations, which I have a big year-long project on, by the way, which I won't be able to be on much, but I do have some time today. So I, that's why I decided to get on because I have some time today. But I taught all of my animation and all of the things I do on my computer, all my writing and stuff. I either did myself without any learning or I taught myself online, mostly the latter. I taught myself completely how to animate online through Blender, which is the animation program I use. And I, I have one textbook that I barely crack open because I can learn faster, quicker, easier, and better through videos I found on YouTube. I have a whole list of Blender review. If you want to teach yourself Blender, uh, look it up. But it's online is very, very powerful. And you can teach yourself for a couple bucks, literally for like maybe 30 bucks or maybe even 10 bucks. You can probably teach yourself a whole nother language for like maybe a monthly subscription or something and um, just take 15 minutes a day or something. You can teach yourself anything online. I mean, probably not how to do surgery or um, rocket science or brain surgery, but um, you can teach yourself a lot of things, probably woodworking, probably metalworking, probably homemaking or ideas, or better artist things, or challenges. There's so many good things out there. And uh, just be wary. Uh, be wary of what you look at every day. Take a good, hard, long look, and then replace it with something uplifting and better. And you will notice that your life will improve, and that things will help you a lot. And um, uh, just before I go, just remember how you spend your viewing bucks. Because if you are... Uh, when you look at them, whether you hate them, if you look at someone's video that they post every day, if you look at a video and leave a mean comment and dislike it every day, they still get money. You're still giving them money. Don't support what you don't support. Don't look at it. Don't care about it. Don't dislike it. Don't leave a mean comment because it just gives them money because you viewed it and it's the views that gives them money, not the likes, not the comments. It's the views, and you're viewing it, and you're paying them to keep doing what they're doing. And there's a lot of people in this world that are just doing bullcrap, bringing up drama, bringing up gossip about people we don't even know and we don't even need to know who are popular for no reason most of the time. Or uh, creating fake drama and fake fights between A, B, C, and D. And um, seeing what E thinks about it. Seeing what 
F thinks about it. And it's just useless crap. It's all useless crap. And we can be spending our time online much more efficiently. And still being entertained and still learn is what I want to say. So uh, that's, that's what I wanted to cover today. Um, having that said, I guess I will catch you guys soon. I don't know when I'll make another video. I want to get back into video making. But we'll see. Very busy guy. I got rent to pay. So uh, outside of that, I will catch you guys later.